All right, this is a quick response video to Earthling Nutrition's latest video on how uh, Durian Rider's wrong and the novo lipogenesis is going to make all the excess carbs you eat turn into 100 grams of fat a day. And, uh, okay, just slow it down. And I know she wants her video to go viral, and I know she thinks Durian Rider's wrong, but just slow it down. Just just remember, there's a lot of pa a lot of papers. This is the, people have studied DNL a lot, and most of the other papers say, you know, you're only going to gain 15 grams of fat a day uh, by you know even eating massive amount of carbs. Okay, so I'm just going to show why this paper came up with that conclusion, and I'm not going to say they're wrong or anything, but they're using 1988 techniques, which are, are outdated, uh, and they are not. They did not directly measure this fat gain. They indirectly measured it, or they indirectly inferred it by measuring uh, the, the respiratory gases of the subjects. Okay, so, you know, they, they were very careful. They went for it. They tried, uh, but they did not directly measure this, weight, this fat gain, okay? They, they inferred it. So uh, let's just look at the paper really quickly. I just want to do this fast. Okay, so you can get this paper online. So what they did was they found three guys uh, from the university. They were young, and uh, they kind of subject them to this overfeeding experiment. Great. All right, so uh, before we get too far, let's just look at the results just so we don't get ahead of ourselves. Just know they did this 14-day study. They massively overfed them for seven days of high carbohydrate, low fat, but at the end of it all, there was no weight gain, okay? Uh, you know, I know they, 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 they'll come and they'll tell you why they put on 1.1 kilograms of fat, and of that, 580 grams of fat was generated from DNL. But at the end of the experiment, there was no weight gain. All right, let's just look, let's look at the experiment in detail. I don't have to spend too much time. So they measured, if you look here... They were very careful. They measured how much food the subject ate, how much that they expended, you know, in their feces, and then they calculated the available nutrients. And they used all these numbers. They also uh, they measured uh, energy expenditure. They were very careful because they wanted these guys to be eating 1,500 calories excess carbs a day for seven days of overfeeding. Okay, so here is... Uh, a little graph of the experiment. The experiment set up fairly well. All right, so they have these bookends of uh, these high fat, low carb uh, eating periods. They, they they they're identical bookends here, and they're just trying to get they're trying to get the subject to deplete their glycogen and get them in the same state, you know, same amount of sodium, so they can measure before and after. Okay, and at the same they have the same um, conditions. All right, so that's why they did 1,600 calories a day, which is pretty low. They made them exercise to deplete their glycogen. Okay, so when they started the overfeeding experiment, they just they they measured how much they measured everything. They made sure that they were eating 1,500 calories excess carbohydrates a day, and they started out with zero glycogen. They saturated it, you know, 500 grams, 800 grams, whatever it was, and then after that, um, they assumed. And they, they, they figured, okay, well, the rest, they, they measured uh, carbohydrate oxidation, utilization, they, and they, they measured it. Okay, so they, they, they assumed that de novo lipogenesis was occurring. They measured something to estimate how much that was, and we'll get into that later. At any rate, after the seven days of overfeeding, these guys put on, I guess, or on the scale, they weighed 4.6 kilograms more than they started with. Okay, uh, at any rate, the next, so the next phase... They, were, uh, they go through this high-protein high fast, only 600 calories a day. Did this for two days. They do this to deplete the glycogen. Okay, so during these two days, these guys lost 4.4 kilograms, almost all the weight gain they lost. And uh, they're just trying to get them back down to the same condition they started with so they could uh, compare the bookends. So the next phase is the final two days of... 1,600 calorie, high fat, low carb, get them back to the starting condition, and guess what? They lose the final remaining 2.2 kilograms they put on. They end up at the exact same weight. Okay, so there's no net weight gain, but what was important here is they, they're going to go and they're going to show you all this data that they took during... So they're going to take all the data 
during that they that they measured during this high carbohydrate overfeeding seven days, and they're going to compute that these guys put on 580 grams of fat via de novo lipogenesis and an additional 520 grams of fat from uh, their diet. Okay, so at the end, everyone weighed the same, but they're going to come in here and, and take the gases and measure and and calculate that these guys uh, had, uh, you know, uh, gained or, or put on or generated 580 grams of fat. So how do they do that? So during these seven days, these people, these subjects, the three subjects are in a uh, airtight, you know, uh, chamber, and they're measuring their respiratory gases. Okay, so uh, I think it's pretty well known that uh, this this concept of this non-protein respiratory quotient, whenever it goes above one, that the body is. I think they could. They, there's an argument that de novo lipogenesis is occurring once it goes over one. It's probably a good argument, and it, as you see, it happens to neatly coincide with the. Uh, with the over carbohydrate overfeeding, so that so that probably goes. Yeah, we're on. The, they probably figure they're on the right track. Maybe they are, and um, so what all they're doing is over these seven days is they're measuring the respiratory gases, and uh, they're you. This is what they call indirect calorimetry, and they're gonna use. They're gonna measure the amount of time that these guys are over one on this quotient. They're going to integrate it, and they're going to use their tables, and they're going to say, okay, well, they put on 580 grams of fat. They didn't measure it directly. They use this indirect calorimetry, and they calculate that these guys put on, in six days, 580 grams of fat, which is about 100 grams a day, which is a high, that's a lot, uh, because these guys are eating uh, 1,500 calories, and, and what they're saying is they're storing 900 grams of that, so or 900 calories of that. So 1,500 in, and I think they say that they're, uh, they're, they're burning off uh, some of it, 25, 30% of it, but, that, but the other 900 calories is going directly to fat. That's a lot. So that's more than even what Gary Taub says. And that's even more what the low-carb guys say. If you ask the low-carb guys, they go, yeah, if you, eat, uh, if, you, if you eat these carbs, a third of it goes to fat. Okay, none of that happens. But these guys calculate... I think they'll say in their conclusion, 75%. Okay, this is their conclusion, and it's based not on direct measurements, but it's on this indirect calorimetry, measuring things. And people don't do it like this anymore. Nowadays, what you would do, you'd run the same experiment, but you wouldn't use, you wouldn't measure their gas, you know, their respiratory gases. You would use a DEXA scan, you know, new technology. You can measure exactly how much fat people are carrying, and it's a very accurate breakdown. You would not use these methods. Um, and other people subsequent to this experiment uh, use direct measurements of fat. Um, and they have uh, some kind of isotope method of measuring things. They have direct ways of measuring. They don't use this indirect calorimetry. So anyway, this is just an exercise, this paper, just an exercise of, you know, it's somewhat guesswork. Uh, you know, these guys are just using uh, some tables and, you know, some uh, indications of what they think is DNL, and they calculate, uh, they calculate this number. Uh, you know, 1.1 kilograms of fat gain, right? 500, 100 grams a day from DNL. Okay, so that's what they calculate. Um, of course, at the very end of the study, everyone ended up at the same weight, and either, you know, you know they understand a lot of this is water weight, um, so they, th they think that people put on 1.1 kilograms here, and, oh, yeah, they took it off during these two days of fasting. Uh, yeah, they lost 1.1 kilograms of fat, you know, in these last, last few days. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know if that's possible, you know, I don't, I can't lose weight that fast, but whatever these guys think, um, anyway, that's, that's their story. This is all indirect. There's no measurement. Modern studies measure it directly. Uh, you can be afraid of DNL if you want. Um, I'm, I go with the subsequent studies that say 15 grams of fat a day. All right, that's it.